A while back, we introduced you to Tracy Owen, a dog trainer out of Sheridan. Before becoming a trainer, she spent 17 years in prison on a marijuana conviction. But the pause in prison program gave her a purpose. Since her release in 2016, she's made quite a name for herself in the dog training world. Our Cassandra Webb joins us with an update. It's going to be very valuable. A decade ago in prison, a warden asked Tracy Owen and some others if they wanted to work with dogs. It was a gift, really, to have a dog after so long of being locked up, and then now you've got something that you can love on. Since her release in 2016, Tracy has done pretty well for herself. I'm very motivated. You know, I've got a lot of time to make up that I want to be successful. I don't want to depend on anybody. Along with her dozens of clients, Tracy is also credited with training the state's first ever leak detection dog vessel, who works for Central Arkansas Water. She says her record hasn't stopped her from getting clients. When I was locked up, I thought, oh, these people, when I get out, they're not going to be real responsive to me because she was locked up. But that's not the way it was. I just wanted to leave it. If you are doing what you're supposed to be doing and and you're genuine, people want that success. A lesson she wants to share with those who are still doing their time. I felt like it would be a big motivation for them. Wait. Even hiring inmates upon their release to give them a little leg up. They've handled a lot of different situations in there. They can help me handle some of these dogs. You're showing off, aren't you? So what is it about a dog for Tracy? They don't judge. Um, they love regardless. And something important to her, dogs will shoot you straight. They're always honest, though. Okay. Life lessons from four-legged friends who helped this woman walk into her purpose. My clients, I think, are very proud of me. It's a good update. Owen says before she went to prison, she actually wanted to be a veterinarian. She still thinks about doing that, but even if she went to school, she couldn't become a vet since she's a felon. She is, however, actively working on getting her case expunged.